Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. I hate long intros so I'm going to be really quick about it but basically I'm trying out something new today. Um, I am going to show you my Animal Crossing town with the kind of BP elements that I've um, put in for Halloween. Um, I've not done this before and this is a very amateur <laughs> setup so let's see if this video even makes it but Let's have a go and let me show you my five star tan that probably doesn't deserve it, but here you go, have a look. Um, so I haven't actually played today and I've got friends online. Do you remember back when Animal Crossing was so popular, everybody was online and I used to have like 10 plus people online at a time, but now things are different. See how this goes, this is very, I mean, if this does well, then maybe I'll get a capture card, but um, Right now I feel like it's a silly investment considering I might not want to do any more of these. So first of all, this girl here, Kiki, she was one of my original faves. So I really decorated the outside of our house, you can see here. Um, I will give you a proper proper tour um, once, you know, if, if this actually goes well then I'll give you a proper proper tour. But here I'm going to do a bit of like a whistle stop of the key bits of my five star town <laughs> and um, all the spoopy bits that I've put in because I love spoopy aka cute spooky Halloween it's like my favourite thing um, so I'm loving the event on at the moment this is real time by the way let's see how soon I can get this video out I'm gonna always do that this is my spoopy out Bit that I actually just recently changed. Um, I found these gothic lolly uh, headbands in the shop and I'd never bought this actual colour because um, I prefer all the lighter ones but here I've gone for a bit of a you know pretty gothic lolly look before I was a vampire. So this is the outside of my house. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's a bit strange you can see like a fortune cookie cart there, blue roses which I stole from my friend. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I love these manhole covers. You customize them to make them look like this. And then I have this massive like rose garden chaos here. And then my pumpkins, which they've just all grown out and it looks like they're like mostly orange. I'm really looking for like more greens. I feel like this and one more set is all I have. But anyway, sorry, back to the video. So this is the entrance. Uh, this is a little money tree that's growing. My town actually doesn't really deserve five star status I have to say. Uh, my house is very close to the airport, my airport colour is red, red, orange? Yeah, red, orange. Um, and then that was pumpkin patch number one. I didn't realise that pumpkins keep growing back like flowers so I, p I planted a whole bunch. I tried not to look at too many guides for the Halloween bits because it's like we've learned so much and that like, accelerated so fast of Animal Crossing that I'm kind of wanting to keep like take it slow a bit now. So yeah, these are my new pumpkins. I've got pumpkin overload as a result. Each patch gives you three, so it's pumpkin overload. I haven't been plucking, but I have been watering. This is like one of my first mini setups. Um, so here, this you got the customized arch here, and then you got two like spooky lanterns, and this is like a, a lantern set, I think it is. Um, everything can be customized. This is the yellow one, I think. They look way cuter in the daytime, like if you turn them off. <laughs> uh, and then I put like orange lilies near here. You can see like a little candy set and the, oh my gosh, these stools are so cute. I've actually got like little wings on as well, but you can't really see because of my hair. That keeps happening. Um, candies, so I need to go get my candy today. So far I've been playing every day, so I've caught, ah, wait, that's not true. <laughs> I say I've been playing every day, but I've only got 14 candies, so I guess I've been skipping some of the days. I have no idea. Uh, this bit is the entrance to my, what is it, resident services. Um, so this is the entrance, and I saw this off um, a picture online. I really like the look of it, so I kind of replicated this sort of gothic Victorian style, like lamp, like lamps, street lamps and uh, the iron and um, concrete thingy. 
The music goes proper silent when KK's here. Uh, so this is my uh, resident services area, which is really close to the airport and my home. I swap out these uh, these bushes every season according to whatever's newest, which is a bit of a pain, but it looks nice. And we've got the nice orange, yellow, full colours, autumn colours, which is perfect for Halloween. Uh, so yeah, this is my town hall. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to... If you guys like this, then I'm going to give you a bit of a like intro to my my dreamies on the island as well. My villagers are how cute is Marshall and Static and Chiefs. Ah, oh, love. Um, this is my park area, which is right next to my home. That's my money spot for today, which I need to dig up. And then I put like a cute little pumpkin here by the, by the fountains. Uh, I'll give you a more of an in-depth on the actual island tour. But this is my cafe area, which I'm, I'm quite proud of. When I saw that I got five star, I basically felt so undeserving of it that I uh, went and like did up my island so that I would have something nice to share. Nice kind of nature, like shabby area. And then that leads into this, uh, sorry, I'm like bumping into everything. This is so full. Um, that leads us to this really nice like cafe, stall, kind of street food area, the DJ. I will show you all of those in depth in another video. But I love how Nooks is now like autumn Halloween themed. As you can see here I've done some like raggedy job of putting the gates up to make it a bit more spookified and then this is the next and like last at the moment nook um of spoopiness on my island so you can see here like the white customized lanterns and uh bunny coming down the stairs yes go on my lady here you kind of look up and there's like a tier tier of uh of bridges so yeah i really like that there um, so yeah, you can see the white la the white stacked lanterns underneath and then another one of these uh, hanging lanterns here and then I put another matching white um, There's so many lanterns. They're all lanterns pretty much But yeah, like a, a standalone white pumpkin here as well to give some spoopiness as we go into the villagers um, Home area so you can see on the map up here. This is like the really kind of spaced out organized bit where I put all of their houses this is a bit of an awkward bit to walk to hello hi Zucker. um that's my little taco villager uh but yeah you can see this kind of little nook where it was meant to, I was meant to move able sisters but I kind of loved their little nook so much that I kept it so yeah it looks so tucked away and nice with a little like street pole um so yeah love that and I kind of kept it, even though it's super awkward for all my villagers here. Oop, oop. It's my Lily of the Valley, proof, proof of the five star status, the undeserving one. And I got two sets of stairs here for everybody to walk. The Lily of the Valleys are like spawning randomly. I haven't really moved many of them because I don't have a plan. But yeah, this is the, the upper tier. Yeah, just give a little run through the houses. And then this is my Zen garden area this is meant to be my friend told me like how these trees are so in, like in the way but it's part of the vibe you know this is like a little bamboo forest uh type vibe and then you can see my um you might have seen in the beginning my vill my island is called luna so of course you have to have like a little luna shrine complete with candles scented candles <laughs> and uh yeah walkway and some like crazy overgrown flowers I actually need to do some admin and gardening and just like reel it back a little bit with those flowers uh but yeah i love these slow stone mine dogs here that like go up little kind of zen bridge which matches that zen garden vibe up there then over here uh it leads back to the shops but you've got my orchard as well which is actually a bit of a pain like they are really too tightly packed together but i don't have that much room on the island okay so i had to make it compact and oh look spoopy there was a reason i took you here and then we got some hop along bits uh, to get back to where my house is so hopefully that gives an idea i've got a picnic area here too uh, which was kind of left over from sakura season and like cherry blossom viewing 
we are running back through here and then yeah you get to my little fairy forest area which was overrun with weeds like unbelievable so i plucked about 50 of them like <laughs> so that i got access to the rocks where you can see the rocks are getting uh crazy crazy again so i need to trim it a bit more got my sphinx here which i got from gulliver like the other day uh, I feel like it matches the sand a lot, but I don't really know what to do with these big items anymore because, you know, the place be filled. This island be very busy. Uh, seaweed around and then all of my collected uh, surfboards. <laughs> my friend gave me two of these uh, springy ride-on zebras, which is like the most coveted colorway of the, of the uh, horses. So that was super cute. So they're just kissing each other. She gave me two by accident, but she wasn't getting it back. So, <laughs> um, yeah, these beach items are really randomly placed. I haven't like thought it through that much. Oh, there's someone at the campsite. I didn't actually even register Isabel's um, message, so I didn't know that she announced that. Let's see who it is. I probably won't take them because I love all my villagers. Please don't let it be anyone cute. Because I can't. Oh, okay. <laughs> We good. Who is this? Pee wee. Okay, I mean, he's a decent looking gorilla, but not today. <laughs> Sorry. I, um, I tried to say hello to them because at first I didn't because I thought immediately they would like lock me in a battle to, uh, to, to force themselves into the island, but um, luckily they don't. So I say hi. Um... This is a little nook as well. This was right from the very beginning of my island that I put this here. So uh, it hasn't really evolved very much. But yeah, this is a nice little spot for if you want to just relax. <laughs> Enjoy that island life. Um, so this is mostly for uh, the campers. The campers also have this lovely little spot with the roasting marshmallows. Going too in depth. This is another camping. A uh, sit down area up here is a diner as well, like a random diner and a top tier bit where I just put like models and teddy bears, of course. A uh, mini library matched with a um, little vending machine. I love those nooks and another Gulliver acquisition. So, yeah, not much going on here. Put some bushes that aren't blooming anymore here for me to pick up and shovel again once they do. Um, bloom again. I'll reuse them, I hope. So yeah, I love these little uh, kind of alleyways, but I, I would have preferred to do one kind of straight up, but um, couldn't couldn't manage that with the island layout as it is. So yeah, this is the upper bit and you can see my museum. This is definitely inspired online um, from somewhere else. But yeah, I like, I like the look of this and T-Rex as well, which took me ages to assemble. And then once I got all the T-Rex bits, there were T-Rexes everywhere. Like I was digging up T-Rex everywhere. It's always the way. Um, my kind of tulip patch. I'm trying to grow more of the rare colours, like this purple, which won't clone itself. But yeah, there we go. Uh, let me finish off this down here. Running through the waterfalls, which are super loud. I had to like chop some away and you put some land back because it was making this bit like terribly unrelaxing. So loud. And yeah, this is where um, where old Red comes and docks up when he's here to sell me some uh, artwork and statues. So yeah, that is a whistle stop tour of my town. I think I've shown you like everything very, very briefly. So yeah, that is what I've got for you. Hope you liked it. Um, let me know if you want to see like anything in more detail or like explaining or seeing my house actually, like seeing inside of my house and the themes that I've got there, I would be more than happy. So yeah, that was it. That was really quick <laughs> to know what to do with myself. But yeah, let me know if you want to see any more and enjoy your day. See you next time. Bye.